Nice to be here. I feel like I'm on the set of Wendy Williams right now. This is awesome. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I met a girl on the worst dating site ever, Ancestry.com. <laughs> Some very beautiful ladies here. I love Asian women, I do. That's why I hang out at traffic school. <laughs> at a dryer and a, uh, a cat tree. You know. In the beginning, we were in that honeymoon phase. Like, I would text her, I love you. And she texts me back, I love you more. And I'm like, I love you the most. And I text her, I love you. She writes back, K. <laughs> New phone, who's this? You know. <laughs> She texted me recently, I thought about you today while I used my vibrator. I'm like, really? Why? She can stop working. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm 40, my wife is 28. So the songs that I like is the kids she knows from Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> yeah, we just had a baby, we had a baby recently, a brand new baby, uh, eight weeks ago. Thank you. And it didn't happen on purpose. We have this app that told you when to pull out and I didn't update it. <laughs> it only had two and a half stars. Um, <laughs> we have a girl. Initially I wanted a boy because I wanted to teach him how to fight. So hopefully she'll be a lesbian. <laughs> Lesbians make the best fighters because they make a tightest fist. <laughs> Thank you, you guys right here. The two members of The View hate me. Okay, so. The baby was actually three weeks late, so I was concerned the father might be black. He's like, this guy might get beat up. This is bullshit. <laughs> I was there in the delivery room, and that was an insane experience. Watching a baby come out of a vagina is like watching an elephant leave a smart car. <laughs> and, uh, and then they handed me the baby right when it came out. I never held a brand newborn, and my wife's like, take off your shirt, skin on skin contact is better. So I did, and then I posted a picture of me holding the baby on Facebook, and people were like, were you trying to breastfeed the baby too? <laughs> My wife breastfeeds and then hands me the baby and then she goes for my nipple but then nothing comes out. But I feel like I'm teaching her a very valuable lesson, which is that men are gonna disappoint you. <laughs> Thank you to the lesbians. Okay, I appreciate that. We went to go, I went to go buy formula and diapers recently and the lady behind the counter was like, is this for your baby? I'm like, no, my wife and I are in some really kinky shit. <laughs> We take Throwback Thursday very seriously. <laughs> we decided we're not gonna spank the baby, it's 2018, we're gonna tase her. <laughs> and we sleep with the crib right next to us, that uh, reminds me at night when we're having sex to pull out. <laughs> When she was born, she, like, I didn't realize that body parts were swollen on newborns. Like, her vagina was really big, and I got concerned. So I went home and I googled large baby vagina, <laughs> and the cops showed up. <laughs> as well as R. Kelly. Uh, Family's very dysfunctional. My mother did all the cocaine when she was pregnant with me. I think it affected me a lot. Like, I was born in two months. I weighed seven grams. Uh, had a street value of $127. My little sister is convinced she's black. She's the host. My dad told me when you meet a girl, look at the mother. And as eventually she's gonna look like, I say you look at the grandmother, right? If she's a gilf, you know, a grandmother I'd like to fuck. The hottest gilfs are Mexican though, because they're 26. <laughs> Thank you. My grandfather was a veteran. He was like, you would not believe how many Germans I killed. It's cool, but he was in Vietnam. <laughs> 
world is nuts. If you'd have told me in 1988 that in 30 years Donald Trump would be president and Bill Cosby would be the biggest rapist in the world, I'd be like, yeah, okay, and Ice Cube is gonna do kids' movies. <laughs> People comparing Trump to Hitler, and that is bullshit. Hitler had a plan. <laughs> I've been watching too much of Trump. My girl told me I gave her an orgasm. I was like, fake news. <laughs> I try and make my wife orgasm. It's like when I talk dirty in bed, I suck at it. I just complain about things that bother me. Like, oh, you're a bad girl. And you don't let me hang out with my friends. <laughs> I've been spending so much time with my baby, I'm doing things naturally. Like my wife was giving me a blowjob and I started to burp her. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know, that's why I'm here talking to you guys. Back to politics. I wanted Bernie Sanders to win, but he wanted to make college free and that would ruin strip clubs. <laughs> And they were saying Oprah might run for president. It'd be the first time she ran her entire life. Oh, oh really? That's the one we're gonna get mad at. That's the one. No way. I'm a big UFC fan. My favorite fighter is this guy Frankie Edgar. He hit this guy and keeps moving forward. One time his eye was so black and swollen, Kim Kardashian tried to sit on it. <laughs> Thank you, because she loves black cock. Listen, fuckers, I will explain every joke if I have to, okay? That family's insane. They keep trying to top each other. Kim's like, I'm making a sex tape. And Chloe's like, well, I'm dating Lamar. And Kim's like, well, I'm dating Kanye. And the father's like, fuck it, I'm a woman. <laughs> that is an Olympian move right there. She's going for the gold, right? And people are like, she's a hero. A hero, Superman and Batman were heroes. She's an X-Men. <laughs> I got my wife a Colin Kaepernick jersey, so she spends more time on her knees. <laughs> this guy laughs, looks at his girl, and stops laughing. Thank you. Sir, are you having a good time? I'll do a joke for you, sir. B34. B34. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see him in a week. Okay, so I'm, I'm, come on. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm, I love you. Those Six Flags commercials. We danced around. Them. I'm getting older. I'm to a rap concert, and this guy thought I was an undercover cop. And I'm like, dude, I'm not a cop. Look, I have weed. Turns out he was a cop. <laughs> Flavor Flav got beat up last week. He, he, uh, he got clocked. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. I did a show like that. There's an older woman. I'm like, are you married? She goes, I have a late husband. I know what to say. I'm like, I hope he shows up. <laughs> Maybe he was black and late. Oh. Okay, so. I was in New York, it was the Gay Pride Parade and the Puerto Rican Day, pretty the exact same day. Ricky Martin walked 127 miles. Thank you very much. I love this job. I got fired from my last job. I was a Catholic school teacher, and uh, I got fired because I'm Jewish, and I was only teaching part one. Do, like helping out. I, I loved wrestling as a kid. I'm a big wrestling fan. So I coach a middle school team. And uh, first day of practice, I get the kids' names. One kid's name is Orange. I'm like, who's Orange? This kid's like, oh, I'm black. I'm like, no, it says Orange. He goes, that's Orange. I'm like, really? Is your brother Peterbull? Oh. And I got all the kids lined up, right? First 
first day at practice, I go and I point to you, tell me your name and your experience level. Points to a blonde haired kid. He goes, my name is Brandon, and I finger banged the girl on the bus. <laughs> I'm like, not that experience, dude, okay? Uh, you're a lot cooler than I when I was 12, all right? Well, Asian kid on my team, what about you? He goes, my name is Naisuke, but my friends call me Judo. I'm like, oh, because you know Judo? He's like, no, because they're racist. <laughs> couple for yelling at the referee. The ref made a horrible call and I flipped out. I'm like, ref, you suck. Go back to Foot Locker. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then the opposing team's parents were like, you need to apologize to the kids and the parents. Like, Alright, kids. Sorry these are your parents. <laughs> I can't stand some of the parents. I do like the immigrant parents. Like, the parents, those are the, like, like, kids from, like, Beverly Hills. Like, oh my god, my nose hurts. And then the mom will pull them out for three months. A kid from, like, Uzbekistan. He could have a broken leg, and his dad's like, it's okay, he has two. <laughs> My kids. I, I do watch porn. Anybody watch porn here? Woo! Yeah. My wife got mad at me. She's like, what does she have that I don't have? Like, a mute button? <laughs> I bought a bootleg porn in the Bahamas. That was a mistake. It was the video of the guy who sold me the porn jerking off to a porn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I do masturbate a lot. I went to a sperm bank and sold my blanket. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you guys right here. I don't miss being single. I took up a girl one time, she's like, do you have a condom? I know of a bank statement. That'll stop me from getting pregnant. <laughs> That's the worst when condoms break. It's like the best feeling followed by the worst. At first you're like, wow, this is the best condom ever. Then you look down, your penis is wearing a headband. <laughs> LeBron James? Oh. Is that why you're flopping everywhere? Oh. Uh, I actually found my wife on Tinder, uh, which sucks, we're already married. Oh. I met a girl off Tinder who looked nothing like her profile pic. She's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, find the girl in the photo. <laughs> I do smoke a lot of weed. When I'm high, I can't decide whether my thoughts are brilliant or the dumbest ideas ever. I'm like, you think girls with diabetes have sugar daddies? <laughs> I like freaky women. I do. Is she a freak in bed? The blonde hair chick? This guy's like, uh, is she a freak? Oh, uh, we don't we just friends. Yeah, but, he, but he's trying to hit that, right, sir? Absolutely not. <laughs> do you like guys? Oh! No. Okay, and you? No. Okay. <laughs> why not? She's beautiful. I'm, she, oh, I'm, no, no, I'm gonna say, why wouldn't you want to hit that girl? That girl is gorgeous. Not because we're friends. I know, but he's waiting for you to fuck up. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, if later tonight she was like, let me sit on your face, what would you say? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Yes to the dress or whatever the hell you guys want to watch. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Right? If you were him, you would hit that chick, right, sir? Oh, yeah. See, okay, all right. I had a girl one time give me a foot job, jerked me off with her feet. Uh, first it was hot, then I got an athlete's dick. Oh. I do like eating vagina. Uh, you, sir? Woo! All right, okay. I'm just saying, you gotta make. You gotta make sure it's clean. You gotta do the old yawn test. The old... <laughs> One time I forgot to do it. This thing smells so bad I got dizzy. And, uh, I looked at my dog. He was like, don't eat that. <laughs> the girl had a yeast infection. Uh, yeah, I was so pissed because I was trying to cut carbs. And, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you to the, the Asian people. How you guys doing? You guys just came here to buy the place? <laughs> are, you, are you guys dating? You too? Yeah. All right. Where did you guys meet? Study hall? What was that? She said we're semi dating. You say we're semi dating? That's probably because you have a semi penis. <laughs> He's, he's clapping. He's having a good time. It's okay. It's all right. It's all, it doesn't matter how big it is, right? Fuck it. This guy's got a huge one. He can't get a chick. So fuck it. Right? We're all in this boat together. Okay, that's all I'm saying. PTA, are you guys having fun? You look very angry. Association. We look like you're part of the PTA. <laughs> Everything's always the guy's fault. You watch commercials, extend and extend your penis. Some guys do a small penis, but what if it's the girl? How come there's no compacts? You know, <laughs> smushes or badge of small. Twat, not a lot. <laughs> Clam closers, I got more. Zip the lips or shrink the pink. <laughs> Confine the vagina. Smoochie the coochie. <laughs> Taco the taco. Glue the canoe. Bestow the camel toe. You having fun, sir? Amigos, you having a good time? You look very nice. She's cute too. That, that, that's your man, right? I can tell with the. Oh. Giving him a handy during the show. Oh. I would never cheat on my wife, people. I'd never cheat, because it would break her heart to see me that happy. Yeah. <laughs> How many girls here wax or shave their vaginas? Raise your hand. Just, just Beckham. It's fucking Afro night here. It's 70s throwback night, you all have... That's why you're not laughing, you're itchy, okay? I like when girls have landing strips or triangles, or if you're Mexican, you have a fence, you know? If you're Asian, you have a math problem. If you're black, you have cornrows. You're Persian, don't even bother. It's gonna grow back in 12 seconds anyway. Are you having fun, Miss? Are you like in like a jacket all fucking bundled? Oh, how are you doing, Miss? You're cold, Miss? Fuck, it's like 87 degrees in here. Are you okay? You ever call your ex on their birthday just to ruin it? <laughs> Happy birthday, bitch. Uh, LA is tough, all the models in LA and they're obnoxious. And the one girl, I'm like, you're really pretty. She goes, tell me something I haven't heard. I'm like, you're really smart. <laughs> Listen, people, if you're on Twitter or Instagram or Soul Swipe or, uh, <laughs> or Life Support, okay, make sure. Oh, stop. He's having fun, right, sir? This is oh, I know, I'm going to hell. He's the Crypt Keeper, so he's taking me there. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Thank you. We're having a good time, right? This is better than the time when you banged Abe Lincoln's wife back in the day. He's like, get off my lawn. Okay, listen, people. Um... Anyway, add the Adam Comedian, Adam Comedian, one word. Uh, you guys have been great. Enjoy your upcoming week. Take care.